Hey y'all, welcome to the second edition of Cooking with Mmm Mama Likey. I'm your host, Martha Stewart. It's a good thing. Okay, so I may not be Martha Stewart, but today I am going to teach you how to make Tater Tot Explosion, otherwise known as my famous Tater Tot Casserole. Um, it's a great meal for breakfast or even, you know, if you come home at 1 o'clock in the morning and you're a little wasted and, you know, you need something good to eat because... Honey, your bitch gets hungry. I mean, ow. Okay, as with any meal, you're going to have to gather your ingredients and your tools before you begin. All right, so first of all, we've got a fresh onion that I'm going to chop up. I went to the store, I got Orida tater tots. You can use french fries, you can use hash browns, whatever you like. I like tater tots. You're going to need six or seven, even eight uh, eggs, cubed ham, packet of cheddar cheese, some milk, uh, butter and a mixer so that you can blend some of these ingredients later on and then a pan to bake it all in. Oh, honey, let's get started! Mama's hungry, okay? Mm. By the way, a couple other things that you may want to have handy. A phone to call 911 with and a fire extinguisher in case you have to put out some big ass fire. I mean, if you're not a good cook, honey, maybe, maybe, maybe you should tune into one of my other videos. Also, if you're looking for somewhat of a healthy recipe, tune into another channel, because this ain't it, okay? I have three yolks in there, but there's actually egg whites of seven eggs in there. Okay, so we're going to combine that with, I've got a, ooh, I have a half a cup of milk. You can use a little more if you want. Pour that right on in. A uh, big dollop of butter, because, you know, what's food without butter? Boom. And then my onion, which during the break, I went ahead and chopped up, so we're just going to kind of pour that in there. Yeah. Me in a kitchen? No, that's not dangerous. There we go. Only takes a couple of uh, seconds, and you should have a nice kind of um, mixed up mixture. Next, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe it's Celsius. I don't know. I'm, I'm not very good with temperatures and science and all that crap, I mean. By the way, you can use bacon in this, green pepper, anything you want. Um, I'm just using ham and onions um, in addition to the other uh, ingredients, but do it however you like. Okay, so I actually switched pans because I wanted, uh, for depth reasons, um, I'm going to use my glass one. I've gone ahead and laid out my tater tots. I put the uh, ham cubes on top of them. Um, you can smush this down if you want to. I chose not to. I like to leave it in its whole form because, I mean, that's the way that God intended for it to be, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take my little mixture here, and you simply, I know this looks a little gross, but... You just kind of pour it in over the top, make sure that it's evenly distributed, and it'll kind of work itself out here, but there we go. And I'll give it a shake, 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 shake. All right, so just sprinkle your cheese evenly across the top, and I did put a couple of uh, butter pats in there, and... Now we're going to pop it in the oven, and in about 50 to 60 minutes, it should be done. Okay, it's been an hour. I'm going to take the tater tot explosion out of the oven, and we'll see how it looks. And we pull her out. Oh, she's golden brown and bubbly. Look at that. Yeah! Mmm, I like it, yeah. So that is what your tater tot casserole should look like when you take it out. I hope that you enjoy this meal as much as I'm about to. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's so hot. Mmm. It's like cheesy, potatoy, eggy, hammy, oniony goodness. Mmm. Make this. You have to have it. Ah, honey, it's the bomb!